Welcome back, Times Up Jamaica. Welcome back. Your girl Bree Bree here to give you an update. I just want to make a video about this taxi driver. But I don't want to limit it to him. I just want to extend the videos to other tax the video to other taxi drivers. No. I'm gonna let you guys hear the audio. But had you seen the video with the taxi driver resisting the police? He was hella aggressive. No, look at him now. So, after that, at the station, did they, did they charge you? Yeah, they charged me, say me they obstruct traffic, and where me they cannot obstruct traffic. Because he had vehicle in front of me, and about 15 of them came here, and they come to pick up before I know, so I'll be giving me papers. And I said, I'm not giving me papers, because I'm not obstructing no traffic. And, and then now, I thought I put some people in my vehicle and put in their luggage. Two police come and tap me back here and thought beat me all and pull me and show me the gun up. You will have me put my shop, my finger them my shop, my back to them, my face in the station. And then my boss had said, go viral. I live something else and then I'm going to do it. And I boss and I thought about it, go viral. And then I said, I'm going to so why you say the content with the road and, and, and with the park and, and, and with the park? We have the park, you want to go one way, so if you park down the night, so we don't go down the night, you can't turn, you have to just take your time and when you can go up, you can't go up. One way in, one way out. You understand, you, you can't turn in there, you can't take time go up, and a vehicle load and go up, you can't get a little space to go up. You understand, we are the market people in one place. You can't go through and mash up your vehicle, everything up to your there. The police don't come down there now. You understand? Yeah, man, I drive up car. I just hope you can go. I'll do the beef truck. I come down, coach truck. I come down, everything. I come down, come let that go to now. One narrow way traffic. Now we can't manage down there. Police are coming up. They come beat. We have down there. So, do you plan to speak in the communication to what you say is the abuse of the police or them box up? Yeah, I'm willing. I'm willing to speak to the cop. I don't know about the end of the year. Have I met him again? Join him, come in. All right. Why do you do this by yourself first? Why do you do this by yourself? Well, Mr. Jeremy Cunningham, I don't feel sorry for you. Sorry, sir. I don't feel sorry for you. You must have not realized that it's a day of social, um, social media and videoing. We saw, we all saw the video with you resisting. The police just said that the police was come grab your children and gun and start beating you. No, it didn't happen like that, Jeremy. It didn't happen like that. We saw the video. It didn't happen like that. The police was trying to uncuff you. And you were resisting, you were fighting off, you had all the strength. But you're crying today and playing the victim. And this is for every time. Because I always say it when I see you guys, you know, the cheerleaders on the side telling you, don't listen to that man, don't give him a paper driver. Listen to me, Jeremy. The police come and talk to you. Stop, listen, comply, and then you take matters after. Trust me. You're not the only taxi. I've known many taxi guys that have never been. I mean, it's in social media. I see them things here you now. I've, I've known many taxi drivers that have never been in this situation. Police stop them. Send them bad driver them to something. They give them a ticket and they go. And either they contest the ticket or they pay for the ticket. It's simple as that, Jeremy. It's as simple as that. But no, Jeremy. It didn't go like you say. In the that can do nothing for you. There's nothing Indicom can do in this case. Because Indicom don't even need to interview her because we all see it on camera. And we all know whether Jamaican police, American police, Canadian police, they are humans. And if I disrespect the motor road, they might want to give you two boxes and go inside. We don't know about the two boxes. It's up to you and them. They can say no, you can say yes, I get it. But what we see on the video outside, you were very aggressive. You are a very aggressive man. And like I said, I always say when I see you guys resisting, it never ends well with you guys. Because all the cheerleaders on the side cheering you on, when the time come, them gone. Jeremy, we have seen worse story than yours. Yours is going to be less than a dear story. Believe me. People are going to go poop and forget about it. Trust me, we have seen worse. We have seen worse. Just remember the five persons that died in Clarendon.
and the big alabalu with the prime minister and his wife and Bobsy and every state minister and Margo and now they're gone. Nobody's there to assist or to help. So German, next time the police stop you, comply. Comply. Don't follow the cheerleaders on the side. Your story is not going to go anywhere. I can't tell you that, sir. Because you were Ella, Ella aggressive. You weren't peaceful. You're crying now. I can't believe it's the same person. I say wiggling and tossing and throwing the police. Yes, they had to put you on the ground. Sir, if you think that that was harsh, go to America and do the same thing. Go to America when they stop you. Resist and do the same thing. You might, get a, you might pick up a few shots. Believe me. Go to America and try that. Go to Canada and try that. Go to England and try that. You might pick up a few shots. Especially in America. In England, they might pick up a few punches. Or in Canada. But in America, you, you're guaranteed to get a few shots. Especially if you pick a bad police on a bad day. It won't end well for you. That type of, of, of aggression wasn't necessary. Even if you think you weren't wrong. You, just, you look at it. You still, have to, you still have to pay for them, you know. You still have to pay for the charges. You still have to pay for the charges. No matter how no be about it, you still have to pay the fine. Because nine times out of ten, the court is going to hear on the side of the police. Even the public would want to do that. And we saw the video. You're crying uh, and a lot of people say it's not funny. No, it's not funny. I'm not laughing at your crying. And I would not laugh. But all of this could have been avoided if you had just comply. Officer, I wasn't breaking any law. If you want to take out your phone and video, video. But the whole, eh, and the whole circus, it does not work. It's full time for you guys to learn and to stop. So what you expect? I don't understand what you guys expect the police to do. Come and say, okay, sir, um, you're in an incorrect zone. License and registration, please, to check you. Because many criminals are out there, you know. The police are there to do their job. Yes, they might target taxi men more because that's where they get most the bulk of the money. But most of you guys make it easier for them to do it. Most of you guys make it easier, make it easier for them to, for you guys to be abused. Because you're telling me, you know, you're going to get aggressive on a police and the police go say, okay, sir, you're getting really aggressive. Let me leave you alone. Maybe you don't do anything. Okay, go and then you go tell a friend them, oh, I cuss him, man. Oh, and you have to let you, you have to go, you mean you have to let me go? I mean, I mean. No, it does not work like that, German. It does not work like that. The police are there to uphold the law. And many of them will not be debased by you guys. And you guys are out there to do that. With your old cheerleader, cheerleading squad that is no good to you guys. Stop it. Cut it out. You see a pain in all over. Sir, you cause you inflict most of those pain yourself. Those pain are self-inflicted. Yes, self-inflicted. Are they twisting and turning and bending up yourself? Are your finger them around you? Are you cause it? So good luck, sir. If you have to go to the doctor, go down by the clinic if you don't have the full pay. Go down by the clinic and get some treatment and go home. And rest your body for a few days and go back to work. And abide by the rules. If there's something wrong, there's many, there's better way to talk. You know, other day was, I saw a young guy that was reporting. And yeah, he seemed as if he was auditioning, auditioning for a job. Reporting about the weather. Somewhere, I think in Clarindon or somewhere. And he said that the road conditions are very bad. I think it said, he said that the... The, the 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 corridors are so may want to clean the drains and he's asking the prime minister and, and and other persons to assist mike henry to assist and all of that and he was so polite and well put together there's ways to carry out your messages you, know? you guys can do much better but this whole aggression and this one ah, it does not work stop it stop it i thank you thank you guys for always liking and sharing my videos and paula llewellyn i have a video for you I'm just waiting. I have a video for you. I'm just not in the mood. I want to get the right mood to deal with you, Paula Llewellyn, because I don't know your purpose in Jamaica. Other than that, you said that you're a DPP. I don't know what else you do in Jamaica. Because you're not doing anything, ma'am. Nothing at all for people. Nothing.